Hi, if you got a Samsung Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge and a Mac, then probably you already got confused with uh, transferring photos and videos from this device to your Mac. Because from iPhone to Mac it's very easy, no hassle. Uh, but as you can see on the screen there are hundreds of threads on the Google people asking how to transfer photos from Galaxy S6 to Mac OS X. There are even some videos, but uh, some of them, the, most of them, they just advising you to to download uh, special applications like uh, iDroid and uh, which is a lot of hassle. It should be just connecting to phone to computer and then transfer. There are two easy ways to transfer your photos and uh, videos from your Android device into Mac computer. Uh, so first and the easiest way is just connecting the cable into Mac and into your device yeah as you can see or maybe you already seen it uh, the Mac didn't say anything about import it just uh, didn't discover it haven't discovered it yet to solve the problem you just swipe down notifications and you can see here connected as a media device you change it into the camera PTP just one click and your Mac should instantly discover your you see, discover your device and show all the photos asking which one you want to transfer you want to import them There are a couple of cons of this uh, of this way. As you can see, for example, uh, let me see this photo. It's already this is like a Chinese soup. Anyway, if I import it, I can see that uh, this photo was already imported. See here and there. It's already on the drive. Why is that? No one knows. But uh, basically, Mac tries to import all the crap from your from your uh, Samsung device, duplicating your photos. So if you import manually, that's fine. I don't click import all new photos, all new photos. Okay. So the second con of this uh, way is that uh, in some cases like uh, mostly it it can't download it can't even see in here your 4k videos which is one of the best features in this phone you know you can record up to five minutes at once of the 4k video it's of course compressed to 330 megabytes per minute so it's it's, it's very convenient okay so to download uh, to download your 4K video and entire library, you just need to use the other, the other way. So we can switch it off. And uh, one thing you have to do is to download uh, Smart Switch by Samsung. You can see here I already downloaded it, but uh, you just put Smart Switch on your uh, browser and. Uh, you see, it's gonna tell you where to download it. In here is like a Polish website. I don't know why. So you just click in here, download this stuff for for your macOS, and then it's fine. You just then install, and once you install it, once you install it, you just need to connect your phone uh, to USB, uh, and uh, press here. So it's already connected as a camera, but uh, to cooperate with a uh, smart switch, you, you have to switch it again to different modes. I don't know, somehow it doesn't read me. You need to get there and switch back to MTP. And uh, once you switch to that mode, you just open the smart switch. 
as you can see you can back up your files restore your phone you can like uh, using backup you can transfer your iPhone into your but it's not video about it so you just click in here and here you got small folder icon you click on the folder icon you got internal memory and you're going down way to the DCIM and here you got screenshots, camera and uh, you can easily recognize which was shot by this uh, Samsung it has like a very long names of the files you can get confused because a uh, lot of files uh, there is no preview but uh, it's gonna take only a while you just uh, select the files you want to transfer and drag and drop to place you want to take them once you've done it you can open it uh, in your Mac using uh, quick time and then like uh, if you want to transfer those files into your photos you just go into photos and use import you take import you select what you want to transfer and click review for import once you've done it you can select them if they are like uh, old ones if they are new already it will say uh, imports all new photos so that's all Hope you enjoyed the video and hope it will be helpful for you. See you later.